I wanted to talk about this uh, this pot full of locust trees, seedlings. And I've put, I don't know, probably four weeks worth of effort into it. And look how good they've come up. And they're looking like little mini trees right now. I'm actually quite proud of it. I didn't think, I've tried before and I never did have success with getting them to start. But I've watched several videos on YouTube and now I'm putting this on there as well. Kind of my process of how I went through it doing it and just everything that I've learned as I've done it. These seeds, I mean, they're when they start out, they come in a big pod and they're quite small. About the size of a a black bean or a pinto bean usually. But when you... You can't just start them. You can't just plant them in the soil and they start. Their shell... Got to focus here. Their shell is waterproof. And so planting it in the soil just isn't going to work. They used to have to... They have to be uh, modified in some way. Usually in the wild it's because they've been eaten by an animal or something of that nature. They've been cracked or something. The process of freezing over the winter usually can help uh, open that shell up, the waterproof part of the shell. But what I did is I just took nail clippers. Get focus again. Yeah, that nail clippers and just clipped, oops, just clipped the very edge. Just enough to open it up like that. And stuck them in a in a plastic bag with wet paper towel and let them swell. They swell up probably twice, maybe even three times their size. They got huge. Let's see if I can find the shell here. Here's the shell. So it's quite large considering that one's not near as big, but some of them were even larger. About the size of these primary leaves here. And they swell up. <coughs> and then finally started rooting. Uh, it was quite interesting. I never thought... I mean, I've seen plenty of places that have these locusts around. And they kind of look... I like the way they look. These multi-leaved uh, branches. And when they get larger, they can be shaped, you know, to look kind of like a an African acacia-style tree their leaves are similar and so that's kind of my my goal my end goal in all of this is to try and style it as an African style tree eventually as they get larger uh, like I said and mentioned before I've gotten into bonsai recently and it's been something that's been quite therapeutic and calming uh, as well as educational I really like understanding and knowing how to manipulate these small trees so that they so that they look like larger versions of themselves uh, the natural trees in the wild it's kind of a really interesting art but it does take a long time to see the end results the journey is uh, most of the fun getting it to that point coming up with a, a vision in the initial stages and then working towards that vision and most likely modifying at one point or another to best suit the 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 tree and but best suit your changing points of view on the, the tree itself uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and there will be further updates as these trees grow and I start to modify them and train them in ways that will help them kind of reach those end goals that I have kind of envisioned for them. Thank you.